What um, what are we doing, Gary? Oh man, we are on a quest, <laughs> a vision quest. Here in Manitou Springs, heading towards the parking lot for the Bar Trail Trailhead. When seeking gurus, it's important to have a potty break you first. Got, you need to have clear <laughs> bowels. Gary and our buddy Joey, who's not here, we miss you, Joey, and I had this crazy idea about starting something where we can talk running and spirituality. But we figured you can't just start something. You can't just start something. You gotta like, I don't know, you gotta see if people, if people buy, if people are on board with you, if they're on the same page. So, we're gonna go see if Zach Miller's on the same page. I think he is. And also we just are always looking for excuses to hike and run. Be in the mountains. Be in the mountains. Word. Day. We might have gotten off the trail and ended up on the incline. Oh man, this is so small, I can't read it. Can you read? That's an incline. There we go. We've got half mile left to the bar camp. Bar camp. Good, a little work. A little work. Uh, early season training for Uncle Gary here. Come on. A little, little work, but good. I just announced on Instagram to my friends that uh, I signed up for the Austin Marathon, Austin, Texas, February 17th. Whoa! So in 10 weeks, I'm running 26.2 miles. This. This will be about a 13 mile day. This, yeah. This will be a good kickstart. Yeah. Oh man. Talk about a pilgrimage. Woo. That is. Yeah. Public information. Trail info, first aid, campsite info. Let's get the cabin. We'll do. Oh. Wood fire. D spike zone. Totally. Hey! Good morning! What's happening? I'm Carl. Good to meet you, Zach. Hi, Carl. I'm Gary. It's good to meet you. Thanks for having us up. I mean, I guess we could have come up no matter what. <laughs> company or like yeah. unknown Result. scenarios yeah. of company because I can I can train like I'll be honest I can train here on Pikes Peak where I'm very familiar I right. do hard workouts I can be in the middle of like slogs back up to camp when I'm just dead tired after something and I just like have my head down and I don't want to talk to right. yeah and I'm miserable right. and I don't want to talk to it like there's right. no there's like I'm more anti-social not, right. like, not right. like social but all of a sudden they're around the same table eating spaghetti dinner, yeah, yeah. having conversations, you know? Yeah. And it's just really neat to see that happen. You know, it doesn't necessarily happen with everybody. You still have right. people who, you know, stay to themselves, right. but it's really neat how how those situations can, yeah. can open people up.